what's the deal fam welcome back to the channel i hope everybody's doing well so today i got a little bit uh inventive because as you saw from my last video remember the it's right there the uh Perrin license plate relocation kit that i did remember from the last video i had to bend the frame because what's happening is because of the layout of the metals like how it goes in line with the bumper this right here the spacer everything is angled so like if you're looking at it it's angled a little bit going that way so that's the reason why i had to bend the frame and all of that stuff so the license plate relocation kit i think the best one for your money is this turbo excess one that i've put on a while ago and the reason why is not only you can move this and adjust it up down slide it side to side or whatever the case might be it actually has a a pivot ball i'll show you right here it has this ball right here so you can actually angle the the frame so this frame here with this pivot ball it doesn't just have to stay stationary like this it can be angled so you can have it facing dead center with the uh front of the car so now but the issue is the pivot ball usually comes with this m5 bolt here on the turbo access kit and it's short so i said you know what what if i bought a longer bolt so the this bolt right here this bolt that comes with the parent kit it's 40 millimeters long so what i did was i bought a little kit it cost me like what 10 bucks bunch of m5 bolts one that's 40 millimeters long as well and i put it in here and it actually worked so yeah it actually it actually worked and all you're doing is you once you tighten once you put some tightening where the pivot ball is it stays perfectly still so now with this kit they give you a bunch of different sizes of the m5 allen bolts and they give you the nuts as well but i have a separate kit with locking nuts so i'll be using locking nuts all of this stuff is going to be in the description now mind you this bolt is thin the good thing is i actually have extra washers from when i did my battle arrow wing right here which works perfectly for the back of the mount so let me just time lapse it real quick and i'll show you the finished product hold on one all right guys so here it is here's the finished product so look at that bad boy real quick i'll show you a frontal view so you see how the that pivot ball it works where look at this from the front so it's dead on center i didn't put the plate on yet and that uh 40 millimeter allen bolt was perfect and then i have that locking nut on the back of it right there so and by the way just in case there is a little bit of play i'll show you what i mean there's a little bit of play like say up and down like this that's that's just a play for these uh big washers that came with the parent kit like because so behind here see how it moves that's just the everything is tight it's just that little bit of play that's where that comes from you get what i'm saying but that was with the other kit too so it's not a big deal but this whole thing is tight and now it's nice and straight so see nice and sturdy that's that's what i wanted so it actually worked freaking dope right guys you know what to do like subscribe comment let me um let me button everything back up and then i'll show you the bumper on the car all right guys so here we have it look at this bad boy finished product nice and straight like how i had it before level this is what i'm talking about right here again look how that pivot ball worked nicely right here hopefully you can see that nice and clear 
Look at that. Worked perfectly. And that's really it. I actually made it work. So pretty much all I needed was a long M5 bolt to fit into that pivot for the turbo excess. So now it's a turbo excess Perrin type hybrid. And you know what I mean? Look, it's holding together nicely. It's nice and sturdy. Same way I had it. No, we're good. Damn. All right, guys, y'all know what to do. Again, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Take it easy.